Is it too late for you to become a professional software developer? No way, no chance, definitely not. Theo is 49, Robert 33, Stevie here is 42, and here are five more developers in their 30s who recently got hired as junior web developers. Who are these nice looking people exactly? They are new and recently hired developers I interviewed and learned from on the Scrimba podcast. You can listen to their individual stories later using the links in the description, but first, here's a statistic that I think is going to prove to you that you're not too old to become a developer in 2022. Every year, Stack Overflow surveyed tens of thousands of developers. In 2018, they learned that most developers are between 25 and 34 years of age. Four years later in 2022, most developers are still between 25 and 34 years of age, but as you can see, the number of older professional developers is increasing. While ageism used to be rampant in the software industry, the trends are rapidly changing and that is great news for someone like yourself. So here you have some like qualitative examples in the form of success stories. And then here you have some quantitative data in the form of a survey. And yet we're both still here. Probably that means you're not completely convinced. And I, and I get it because this is not just a uh, intellectual dilemma. It's an emotional one as well. It's certainly possible and completely understandable that you might be feeling a degree of self-doubt or imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is where despite external evidence of your abilities or, or your potential, as I hope I've showed in this video, you still can't really internalize and believe it. The funny thing is, and this will sound ridiculous to you if you're an older person, is that there are just as many young people on Google searching around asking, am I too young to be a developer? By the way, a lot of people searching, am I too old, are like, 26, 27, 28, potentially even younger than you. The fact that there are individuals in almost every generation asking this question proves that no, you are not too old to become a professional web developer. If anything, your age might be an advantage. There are many advantages to starting web development in your 30s, 40s, 50s. If you're in your 60s, please comment and let us know because that is super inspiring. This is because you definitely have transferable skills that will help you as a professional web developer. Of all the something like 40 people I've interviewed on the Scrimba podcast, virtually all of them underestimate their transferable skills until they get the job and they're like, oh, maybe that stuff was why they hired me. Remember, companies aren't necessarily looking for the absolute best coder. They're looking for the absolute best person for the job. Yes, you need to be a competent coder and you need to interview well because that has a disproportionate impact on your ability to get a job, but it's not all about your technical chops. Teamwork, empathy, communication, discipline, problem solving, and project management are just as valuable to many hiring managers. Just ask my previous podcast guest, Dan. His communication skills from previous customer service experience helped him get a job as a developer. Another of my guests, Justin, noticed that communicating clearly helped him get his job too. Once I was able to get to that interview phase, it's a lot more easy to communicate those kind of, I would say soft skills, but also just an attitude towards learning. At your age, it's likely that you have maturity, discipline, and dedication that actually many new fresh graduates don't have yet. Let's not underestimate new developers coming out of college. They're very competitive in the markets. There's room for both young and older developers, I can assure you. But many of them don't always really know what they want from life. And they don't have any serious obligations that require them to be so committed to their career and their job. Many young people work for a bit, realize they want to travel or something like that. You, on the other hand, are probably very serious if you're changing careers at this stage of life. Especially if you've learned to code in like less than a year, that takes a huge amount of discipline, dedication. And I think changing career at this stage requires a bunch of humility too, which I think is a good thing. Robert, someone else I've interviewed on the podcast is a great example because I remember he was in two minds about telling and revealing to the employer that he had a, a kid and a family and that he wanted to have work-life balance and stuff. In the end, he realized and he said, Some people were like, well, don't say that because then someone's going to think, oh, you know, you have a family and you're not going to be able to give as much and stuff. And I said, you know what? I, I disagree with that. I think what it shows is that I'm serious. I think it shows that I'm someone who's about my career and someone who's going to really care and be dependable and stuff like that. 
I can't emphasize this enough. Even if you're new to tech, you still have experience. It's hard to be patient unless you've been around for a while. And it's hard to empathize with others unless you have a broad worldview and you've worked and experienced working with a lot of different people. People fresh out of college, kind of have a little bit of that, but not as much as someone older than them, to be honest. Lest we forget, you have so many individual experiences that I can't possibly anticipate in this video. I would really encourage you to reflect on the commonalities between your previous jobs and roles and see where your strengths lie outside of the sort of specialized knowledge or, or ability that you needed to do those jobs. Maybe you're the person who asks questions at the right times and you're, you're naturally curious. Maybe you're very creative and you bring a fresh perspective on things. Maybe you're extroverted and you bring introverted coders out of their shell. That's valuable in a team of introverts. I want to segue a little bit and talk about a strategy that I highly recommend you consider, which is where, you know, you're new to coding, but say you've worked in a previous industry. Maybe you can find a job within that industry where your domain knowledge transfers even if your coding skills are kind of new. You know, for example, maybe you're an English teacher at a primary school or something, and you apply to work at a startup building edutech apps for kids. Like you will empathize completely with the challenges of the teacher and, you know, the student's learning experience. Maybe you worked in customer support or something, and now you apply to work as a junior developer at a company like Zendesk, right? Like some ticketing system or something. They, they will love that you don't just like take instructions and code them, but you put your hand up and say, actually, when I was working, Working, doing this job, you know, I realized this wouldn't fit into my workflow. Here are the reasons. Here's how we can make the product better and generate more revenue for the business. Another thing to consider is like, say you worked in finance or health or law or something like that. Often these companies, they want to hire developers and they have a developer that's ready to go in terms of their coding ability, but, but they know nothing about the regulations and the acronyms and the way business gets done in that industry. And so they have an onboarding time there as well. Maybe you become a more attractive developer, candidate, whatever, if you have that experience already. So what's the verdict? Is it too late to become a developer? Yeah, probably. Obviously, I'm joking. Of course, it's not too late, as I hope I've proved in this video. The world of web development needs people of all skill levels. It needs the diversity you bring with a non-traditional background. With dozens of niches and technologies to work in, I am sure you can find an opportunity. Life is what you make of it. At any age, with any skill, you just need perseverance. I'm absolutely sure you can do it. I'm wishing you all the best. I've been Alex Booker. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, subscribe and comment. And if you're wondering, you know, how long does it take to code so that you can make a plan, check out this other video I've made on the Scrimba YouTube channel. Until next time.